Hey everybody and welcome back to As the Rooster Crows. So we've been gone for a while. Joe's been down in Louisiana and I haven't made any videos because he was in Louisiana and there was no way to edit them. We only have the one editing computer and um, Joe had it with him. So I didn't make any videos even for later. But I found this video, uh, this uh, recipe and it is guacamole chicken melt. And to do this, you're going to need four chicken breasts, uh, avocados, and some pepper jack cheese, and some other seasonings in. First, we're going to uh, get our bacon ready and fry some, uh, some bacon strips, and then we're going to get our chicken going. So let's get started. I'm going to need four whole pieces of bacon. We're going to get our chicken ready and we're going to coat both sides with some garlic powder. Some paprika. I don't have much of this. Some cumin, some onion powder, shoot, and some Cajun seasoning. Alright, and then we're going to flip them over and do the same thing on the other side. Alrighty, now that we have the bacon all fried up, we're going to do the chicken breasts. I might be able to fit one more. Alrighty, put them all the way through on both sides. And while the chicken is frying, we are going to do our guacamole. These are really uh, nice soft guacamole. I mean uh, avocados. There we go. out and this recipe is actually keto friendly so I'm not much on avocado but I'm trying it's supposed to be really good for you on keto so I got back on keto about Maybe a month ago, maybe five weeks. I can't remember the actual date that I got on it, but I've lost 12 pounds so far already. So that's a good, good thing. So you want to chop this fine. It only calls for two tablespoons of purple onion, but I might put this whole onion in there. I love onion. Calls for two tablespoons of lime juice. Not a single seed. Someone I was reading mentioned that they cannot find a lime that has a seed in it. So one lime should be enough. We're 
we're just going to take a fork and mash this up. We're going to add our onion. Calls for two tablespoons of cilantro, but I do not have any fresh, so I'm using dried. Then our lime juice. All right, I'm going to set this aside. It smells so good in here. And I'm just frying this in the bacon grease. I'm going to go ahead and grate the parmesan, the pepper jack cheese. I'm going to grate the whole block since I have five chicken breasts. I actually put this in the freezer for about 30 minutes so it would be easier to grate. Alrighty, the chicken's done. I'm going to put a spoonful. Then we'll take the grated and turn that off. The grated cheese, pepper jack. Oh, you want to put the bacon first. Some of them will have bacon on top. These other ones will have bacon, bacon on top of the guacamole. Just shredded pepper jack cheese. Okay, all the cheese is melted. Let's get Joe fed for lunch. Taste test. What is this called? Uh, guacamole chicken. Guacamole chicken. I don't even know if I've ever ate guacamole before. Oh, that's pretty good. It's got some pretty neat. Peppery. It is really good. Yeah, I like it. Awesome. Well, Joe said it. It's pretty good. So, please subscribe, share, comment. If you make this, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.